Hello friends, welcome back once again. In the today video lecture, we are going to discuss the synthesis of warfarin. Okay, warfarin is the oral anticoagulant. It's an oral anticoagulant. Mainly, warfarin inhibit the vitamin K dependent coagulating factor like 7, 9, 10. Okay. Warfarin is a cowmerin derivative compound. Okay. Let's note down these points. First of all, orally acting anticoagulant Warfarin mainly inhibit vitamin K dependent clotting factor. Inhibit vitamin K dependent clotting factor. And what are these vitamin K dependent clotting factor? 7, 9, 10. Okay. I have previously made a video on the different coagulating factor with their very easy trick. You can find my previous lecture. I will give the link in this description. You can also find that. Okay. So, warfarin is a orally acting anticoagulant and it is the cowmerin derivative. Cowmerin derivative because the main nucleus in this drug is the cowmerin nucleus. So, how they start synthesis of the warfarin carried out? The synthesis of warfarin carried out by the two steps. Here is the two steps. So, let's take each one by one. Step first. In the first step, what happened? Synthesis of 4 hydroxy cowmerin derivative from methyl salicylate. Okay. Synthesis of 4-hydroxy cowmerin from methyl salicylate. So here we can find out that our starting material is the methyl salicylate. So let's start the synthesis. Firstly what happened? Here we have methyl salicylate. OH CO OCS3. This is the methyl salicylate. Now, this methyl salicylate, when undergoes the reaction with acetic anhydride, here it reacted with the acetic anhydride, that is the CS3 CO hold twice O acetic anhydride. By this reaction, what happened? Here, one acetic group will join down here like this. Here, as such, COO CS3. Here, we will get O CO and CS3. Remaining CS3, COO and H of this OH group will remove out in the form of acetic acid that is CS3, C double OH. Now here what we will get? Here we get methyl, acetyl methyl salicylate. Here we will get acetyl methyl salicylate. Now this acetyl methyl salicylate when undergoes the reaction with the sodium. Sodium used to carry out the cyclization and this sodium mainly reacted at the temperature 205 degree Celsius. This temperature is very important because this is the cyclization reaction and sodium carried out the cyclization at this temperature. So by this cyclization reaction. Here we will get an intermediate for very short period O 
and A. This is the sodium derivative cow marine. Okay. Now by the acidification, acidification carried out with the HCl. By the acidification, HCl, acidification, we will get four hydroxy cow marine here. Four hydroxy cow marine. Here OH will be joined here. This is the four hydroxy cow marine. And in the step first, what was the target of our synthesize the four hydroxy cow marine from methyl salicylate? So here we will get four hydroxy cow marine. Now come to the next step. In the second step, step second, what happened? Our starting will be from here. Means here a new and different addition carried out that is known as the Michael addition. Michael addition of 4 hydroxy cowmerine. with benzolactone benzolactone how is reaction carried out let's take here 4 hydroxy carbonate first here we have OH this is the 4 hydroxy carbonate this 4 hydroxy carbonate reacted with benzolactone. What is the benzolactone? Here we have the benzene ring with lactone group. That will be the CH CH This is the benzolactone. Here we have 4 hydroxy carbonate and it reacted with the benzolactone. By this reaction and this reaction carried out this reaction carried out in the presence of proton ok what happened this double bond will be break down this CH will join on this position of the benzene ring so finally and the H of this will be removed ok here we will get our final product that is the warfarin and what will be the structure of this it will be like this here as such OH here this will be joined CH at the one position our benzene ring will be joined and at the second position this will be joined here CH it will be the CH2 CO and CH3 here it becomes the CH2 then from where C proton ion comes this proton ion joined here and it forms the CH2 CO CH3 this is our final product that is the warfarin so, this is the synthesis of warfarin. Two step reaction. First step reaction synthesis of 4 hydroxy carbonate from methyl salicylate. And second step, Michael addition of 4 hydroxy carbonate with benzolactone. And finally, we will get warfarin. Thank you.